It's an interesting fact that very few industries produce as wide a range of products as those we refer to as medical devices. But there's more to it than that, because the manufacture of many of the components and sub-assemblies supplied to the manufacturer of a device must be made to the same quality standards as those which apply to the finished device. So it's hardly surprising that manufacturing facilities are just as varied from simple manual operations to complex large-scale batch production and robotics and from typical machine room operations to pharmaceutical standard clean room activities. But it would be a mistake to think that there was any difference in the level of care that should be taken during the manufacture of, say, a bandage for a sore finger and the manufacture of a blood glucose test strip. Imagine the consequences for the patient of a wound dressing contaminated with harmful germs. It would be just as serious as if a blood glucose test strip gave an incorrect reading and consequently a diabetic injected the wrong dose of insulin. At the heart of it is one simple word. Quality. This means that a medical device must be fit for its intended use. It must be within specification. It must satisfy the customer's expectations every time. And most importantly, it must be safe to use. Top management is responsible for providing buildings with the right environment for producing a quality product. Machinery and equipment suitable for the purpose. Qualified personnel. And training. Training must include the principles of current good manufacturing practice, or CGMP for short, sometimes referred to as quality systems regulations, to ensure that safe and effective devices are designed and produced. These regulations embrace everything from the design stage of a medical device to the distribution and marketing of the finished product. This presentation, however, will be confined to just four topics which are particularly relevant at the manufacturing stage of a medical device. Documentation, record keeping, process controls and contamination control. First, documentation, which is a vital part of CGMP because it provides a method of control throughout the whole manufacturing process. The amount of documentation will vary from one company to another depending on the product and its complexity, the manufacturing process and the size of the organisation. The principal documents that are used during the manufacture of a medical device include specifications, stock records, operating procedures, cleaning records, manufacturing batch records, test results, environmental controls and maintenance records. These documents tell you what to do and how to do it. They also record when it was done and who was responsible for doing it. They also tell us when things go wrong or if something is done usually with the best intentions but not as shown in the laid down procedure. This information would be very important if a product failed to meet its specification and it could be vital in dealing with a regulatory problem or a customer complaint. Specifications are documents that set out quality standards for all starting materials as well as the finished product. They give precise details of the tests to be used and the expected results. The most widely used documents are Standard Operating Procedures or SOPs for short, sometimes referred to as Work Instructions or assembly aids. They include line clearance procedures, in-process controls and online testing, the installation, setting up and maintenance of machines, the calibration of operating systems, cleaning and so on. Most importantly, they give precise instructions on how each operation must be carried out during the manufacturing process. And even though you may be familiar with the procedure that applies to the job that you do, always remember that it can be revised from time to time. 
so always check to make sure that you are using the current version of an SOP, particularly if it is